Hey everyone, in this playlist, we, before we get into how to enhance the data model with DAX, we'll just get into what is DAX, so let's start. Um, so I've done a quick uh, diagram here where, uh, you know, just to show you where DAX sits. So you can extract all your data using ETL, store it in a database. And when you push the data or pull the data into Power BI, uh, you can enhance the data model using DAX. So essentially DAX sits in, in the Power BI, so it sits on top of your data model in Power BI. Um, so uh, let's just go to the next page and we'll quickly go through this. So what is DAX? DAX stands for Data Analysis Expression. That's um, um, what is the full form for DAX. Um, it is a formula language. So you can think of DAX like an Excel formula language for all those guys who've used DAX, uh, where you can use formulas to create some calculations on top of a columns, or you can use a string formula to concatenate the first name and last name. So DAX is a very uh, function rich language as you can you can use all those functions to create new measures or columns. So um, that's what DAX really shines. Uh, you can create new information. So that could be a column or it, so column would be a materialized uh, um, um, thing which exists in your data model or measure which is non materialized. It is kind of like both of them are like calculations of formulas which sit inside your data model. And now your DAX usage uh, may depend on design patterns. So, you know, you could think that DAX is so powerful, so I'll use it for everything. But uh, depending on how your organization sits and what the design patterns are, either you could push a lot of work at the Power Query end, or you could have uh, a lot of things like a lot of work happening at the database layer, or you could have a lot of work happening in the ETL tool layer to do some form of transformation and load. So it de uh, depending on uh, what your design patterns are, you could you could use uh, ex DAX extensively or it might be minimal usage or just depends on what the organization design patterns have been decided upon. Uh, DAX really shines in case of time intelligence. So for example, if you're trying to do, it's really easy to do year to date, month to date, date or parallel period. So if I want to see what was the sales amount at the same time last year, so those parallel year parallel period comparison, that's where DAX is really, really good. And it essentially sits in the data model and it enhances the data model. Um, so uh, that's just a quick overview of uh, where DAX is and uh, you know, how and where, where DAX could be used. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Um, do let me know if you would like me to take any specific topics. Cheers, bye.